Imagine that you enter a parlor. You come late. When you arrive, others have long preceded you, and they are engaged in a heated discussion. A discussion too heated for them to pause and tell you exactly what it is about. In fact, the discussion had already begun long before any of them got there, so that no one present is qualified to retrace for you all the steps that had gone before. You listen for a while until you decide that you have caught the tenor of the argument. Then you put in your oar. Someone answers. You answer him. Another comes to your defense. Another aligns himself against you, to either the embarrassment or gratification of your opponent, depending upon the quality of your ally's assistance. However, the discussion is interminable. The hour grows late. You must depart. And you do depart, with the discussion still vigorously in progress. What you just heard is called the Burkean parlor metaphor. In order to understand it, it is important to know what a metaphor is. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, a metaphor is something regarded as representative or suggestive of something else. The Burkean Parlor works as a metaphor for academic writing, especially in the Norman M. Eberly Writing Center. The opening scene of the Burkean Parlor acts as a metaphor for a writer's entrance into an academic discussion. Like in the Burkean Parlor, the writer may find herself joining into a literary discussion without previous knowledge, just as a student may enter the writing center with a prompt and no specific background information. In the Burkean parlor metaphor, the participants are unable to explain where the discussion began. Just so, it is important for the writer to remember that her paper is in addition to a long chain of discussion. Thus, as in the real world, a writer's paper responds to a pre-existing literary dialogue. In the writing center, a writer is not expected to know everything about her subject, nor is she expected to be a perfect writer. As in the Burkean parlor, she will have to familiarize herself with the discussion surrounding her topic. It is important to know the opinions that have been expressed previously on the issue in order to form a unique opinion. Once the writer is sufficiently familiar with the discussion, she can freely join in, sharing her own view through the lens of her paper. When writing a paper, the writer need not respond to every opinion she has encountered, only the one she finds the most thought-provoking. The Writing Center provides an atmosphere of collaboration and aids students in focusing their ideas so that ultimately a writer is contributing to, but not putting an end to, the argument. Writing Center tutors focus on the writing process and the writers themselves, instead of the finished product. The Writing Center then becomes a Burkean parlor for all students. Oh my god, it's just... I don't hear a talk.